When did you last give your Amazon account a checkup? Regular Amazon account audits are crucial to ensure its optimal performance. Think of it like a health checkup. It helps you find hidden opportunities, fine-tune your account's performance, and stand out from the competition. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, Product Evangelist at SellerApp, and today I'll walk you through essential steps to conduct a comprehensive audit of your Amazon account. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. An Amazon account audit is a detailed review of your Amazon seller account. Here's why it's important. First is compliance. It ensures you follow Amazon's rules which helps prevent account suspension or closure due to policy violations. Next is performance. Audits can boost your sales by finding ways to improve product listings, pricing, and customer feedback. Cost savings and efficiency. They identify ways to save money, manage inventory better, enhance customer service, and ensure timely order fulfillment. This all leads to better profitability and business growth. Competitive Edge Regular audits help you stay competitive, maximize profits, and keep your FBA business healthy and successful. The frequency of Amazon account audits varies um, among sellers, but it mainly depends on your sales volume, ad spend, and conversion rates. So here are some guidelines. First is sales fluctuations. Conduct an audit if your sales are significantly increasing or decreasing, low conversions and high ad spend. If your product conversions are low and your ad spend is high, it's time for an audit. External factors. Perform an audit when there are changes like Amazon FBA fee updates to understand their impact on your profits. Rapid growth. If your business is scaling quickly with high sales volume, ensure efficiency and avoid unnecessary expenses by conducting an audit. As a general rule, we recommend a thorough audit every six months and an advertising audit every two to three months. Always use the same audit template to easily compare data and identify issues. Now, if you are wondering how to audit your Amazon account, here's a proven process we have developed after reviewing thousands of Amazon seller accounts. First is set up audit. Start by ensuring your business, personal, and billing information is accurately entered in your Amazon Seller Central account. Also verify that all product and store information is correct. You only need to do this once, but it's essential to thoroughly check for any errors. Second is policy compliance audit. A detailed compliance check is crucial to avoid penalties uh, or account suspension. So follow these steps for the same. Go to the uh, account health section in your Amazon Seller Central account. Look for any notices or alerts, uh, especially regarding intellectual property compliance or uh, product safety complaints and uh, listing uh, policy violations. Regularly check your account health page for updates even outside formal audits. If there are compliance requests, uh, upload the necessary documents such as a children's product certificate, a general certificate of conformity, test reports, and other relevant documents. Identify any violations, understand the issues, and take proper immediate action. Prepare an appeal letter with evidence and submit all required documents within the specified deadline. By following these steps, you can proactively monitor your Amazon account's compliance status, uh, promptly address any issues or violations, and maintain a healthy account. Third is performance audit. Key performance indicators are crucial for uh, an effective audit. So they help you understand where your business is thriving and where it needs improvement. Always use uh, the same metrics for each audit and compare them with previous results to see your impact for your changes. The specific KPIs will vary depending on the audit aspect. Uh, for example, in the advertising section, you might track ad-related sales, uh, conversions, revenue, uh, the wasted ad spend, new keyword discovery, ROAS, and ACoS. While KPIs differ for each section, you need to choose the most relevant metrics for your business if you're doing a self-audit. 
figure out which KPIs make the most sense for your situation. If you opt for a third party audit, they will use their own set of KPIs based on your discussions with them. Fourth is product detail page audit. The listing and product detail page audit is crucial as it helps convert potential customers. Even if everything else is perfect, a weak product page can hurt your conversions. So this audit reveals how well your listing performs, identifies errors on your product detail page and highlights issues with retail readiness, uh, customer engagement and compliance. Regular listing audits are vital for improving e-commerce performance, staying competitive and maintaining positive cash flow. They also help reduce the risk of suspension or account closure. The information on the product detail page is key to helping customers decide the purchase. It's the closest uh, you know, they get to seeing the product without physically holding it. So here are steps for an effective listing and product detail page audit. First is retail readiness. Follow Amazon's retail readiness guidelines closely to run effective ads and maximize sales. A well-optimized page should include high-quality images with lifestyle photos, a clear concise titles, uh, the descriptive bullet points, engaging a content with detailed descriptions, more than 15 positive reviews and high star ratings. Consider completing Amazon's retail readiness course for a better understanding. Next is click-through rate and conversion rate. Monitor these metrics to gauge uh, the listing's effectiveness. For example, high CTR but low uh, conversion rate uh, indicates interest but lack of convincing information on the detail page. Low CTR but high conversion rate indicates a strong product page that needs more visibility. By addressing these areas, you can ensure your listing is compelling and effective in uh, converting leads into customers. Uh, fifth is SEO audit. An SEO audit for your Amazon account helps optimize product listings, boosts visibility in search results, and drives more traffic and increased sales. While uh, PVC is important for both short-term and long-term strategies, improving your Amazon SEO should always be a top priority for maintaining a strong brand presence and driving business growth. So here are steps for an effective Amazon SEO audit. First is brand presence. Start by evaluating your overall brand presence. Ensure your products are competitively priced and in stock, especially if you have won the buy box. Use third-party tools like SellerApp to track brand presence and share of voice on the platform. Next is keyword research. Conduct thorough keyword research to include high-performing keywords that can help your listings rank higher. Include a competitor's keywords to compete at the category level. Uh, analyze your competition's keyword strategy and incorporate uh, relevant terms uh, into your copy for better visibility. Next is product page listing optimization. Uh, implement Amazon SEO best practices and use uh, good copywriting uh, to uh, you know enhance your product listings. Include key elements like titles, descriptions, images, A plus content, and brand storytelling for better engagement. While exact ranking factors are unknown, uh, tracking the performance of thousands of uh, listings shows that these elements are crucial. A keyword index review after adding keywords to your listings and back and check if you uh, you know if they are indexed or not. Sixth is analyzing pricing and competitiveness. Reviewing your pricing strategy is crucial, especially if you are struggling to win the buy box. Compare your product prices with competitors to understand the market positioning and pricing trends. Uh, study consumer behavior, income levels, buying habits, and financial considerations to set prices that resonate with your target audience. Successful brands often run uh, surveys to understand what customers are willing to pay. Avoid pricing strategies that could violate Amazon's policies and aim to maintain a positive reputation and trust with your customers. Seventh is FBA audit. If you use Amazon FBA for order fulfillment, uh, it's essential to conduct a thorough audit of uh, your FBA seller account. Start by reviewing your inventory practices from sourcing to delivery to the Amazon warehouse. Ensure compliance with FBA seller requirements and check for errors in your FBA shipping plan. This audit should help you improve your FBA process and fulfillment operations, aiming for excellent customer experiences and feedback. 
8th is customer service audit. Most Amazon sellers overlook evaluating their customer service practices, but a positive customer experience is crucial for brand growth. So here's what to include in your customer service audit. First is review customer feedback, identify and fix recurring issues from customer feedback, whether they relate to the product, packaging or communication. Uh, assess response time, ensure quick responses to customer queries as delays can negatively impact your brand. Check communication quality, ensure communication is professional, helpful and address customer concerns effectively. Evaluate dispute resolution, uh, review how disputes are resolved, including returns and refunds. Uh, standardize your process for timely and effective resolution. Next is monitor customer satisfaction. Track uh, metrics to gauge customer satisfaction and use feedback to differentiate your product, reduce churn and increase customer lifetime value. Training and development. If you have a customer service team, set standard operating procedures for uh, effective communication and invest in their training and development. Utilize customer service tools. Uh, maximize efficiency with tools like eDesk or use Amazon's customer interaction tool. Uh, also implement feedback mechanisms. Encourage uh, you know customers to leave feedback and set mechanisms to improve the number of reviews as they impact your listing quality. So by addressing these areas, you can enhance your customer service practices and improve overall customer satisfaction. Ninth is financial health audit. Uh, selling on Amazon involves various costs and fees that impact your financial health. So here are key fees to consider. First is listing fees charged for uh, listing products on Amazon uh, applicable to sellers with an individual account. Referral fees, a percentage of the sale price paid to the Amazon vibe for uh, you know sellers on the professional seller plan. Next is fulfillment fees, charges for using Amazon's FBA service. Uh, additional service fees, optional services like advertising or premium account features, monthly subscription fees, $39.99 for sellers on the professional plan, Amazon exclusive fee, charge to enroll our products in Amazon exclusives program. Refund administration fee, uh, applied to refund items, uh, shipping and fulfillment fees, uh, vary based on products and fulfillment method. Then we have is miscellaneous fees for items like dangerous goods or refurbished items. It's crucial to track all these fees to optimize costs and enhance your success on Amazon. Ensure profitability while staying compliant with these best practices for a successful financial audit. Evaluate financial performance. Uh, analyze overall sales, uh, expenses, fees, profits, and cash flow to understand your financial health. Uh, review fee structures. Uh, dive deep into fees like listing, referral, and fulfillment to assess their impact on profitability. Optimize uh, fee spending where, wherever possible. Assess profit margins. Uh, calculate profit margins per product to identify and improve profitability. Uh, adjust pricing or uh, supplier deals as needed. Analyze financial risks. Uh, identify risks such as uh, high fees or low margins that could impact your whole business. Develop strategies to mitigate these risks. Use financial tools. Uh, utilize accounting softwares like QuickBooks, Zero, or Final Loop to streamline the odd process. Uh, reduce uh, errors and manage cash flow effectively. Seek professional help. Consider hiring a financial expert or Amazon account auditing service for in-depth analysis and recommendations to improve the financial performance. Tenth is security uh, measures assessment. Now don't overlook uh, security measures assessment as it helps uh, identify and address potential security issues to safeguard your business. Focus areas. Assess threats to compliance, confidentiality, and data security. Update security. Enhance overall system security based on assessment finding to prevent unauthorized access. By prioritizing these steps, you can strengthen your financial health and protect your business uh, from security threats effectively. Eleventh is advertising audit. Conduct an advertising audit is uh, crucial for your Amazon account, even if you have limited time to allocate. It remains one of the most important aspects uh, of managing your Amazon presence. So here's why a comprehensive audit is highly recommended. 
Steps for an effective Amazon advertising audit are first is campaign structure evaluation. Organize your account. Uh, ensure your campaigns are well structured for better control and easier analysis in the future. Align with goals. Tailor campaign structures to match your advertising goals. Use consistent naming and separate campaigns by product type or category. Uh, keyword management. Uh, segregate keywords by match type to optimize the ad placement control. Next is performance metric analysis. Um, key metrics, uh, you know, analyze uh, essential metrics like cost per click, impressions, click advertising, cost of sale, return on advertising ad spend, the sales and click through rate. Periodic comparison, uh, compare metrics over different time periods to identify the trends and areas needing improvement. Ad group and targeting audit, uh, evaluate effectiveness, uh, review ad group performance and uh, targeting strategies to ensure they reach the right audience. Optimize targeting. Assess conversion rates, click-through rates, ad spend and sales generated to refine targeting strategies. Keyword analysis. Uh, performance review. Uh, analyze keyword metrics such as uh, impressions, clicks, CTR, CPC and the sales. Optimize keywords. Uh, identify top performing keywords and add underperforming ones to your negative keywords list for better targeting. Bidding optimization, maximize efficiency, adjust bids to uh, prioritize uh, profitable keywords and improve overall campaign performance. Next is manual targeting. Consider shifting from automatic to manual targeting for better and greater control and even results. By conducting a thorough Amazon advertising audit using these steps, you can uh, optimize campaigns, reduce unnecessary ad spending, uh, discover new keywords and improve the effectiveness of your advertising strategy on Amazon. Regular audits are crucial for staying competitive, maximizing ROI and achieving sales growth on the platform. Conducting an Amazon account audit is crucial for sellers to comply with Amazon's policies, boost sales, optimize inventory, improve customer service, and foster business growth. Following a detailed Amazon audit checklist like this one we have provided uh, helps you adapt to changing business needs and enhance your financial health. While conducting an effective uh, audit and gaining uh, actionable insights may seem challenging, we recommend using SellerApp's PPC audit tool for a free advertising audit. For deeper assistance, uh, feel free to contact us at support at sellerapp.com. Ultimately, these audits are essential for staying competitive and ensuring long-term success on the Amazon platform. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, Happy selling!